Hi, this is Olga Haya back again with another review, and today I'll be talking about the Copper Chef Pan. Copper Chef is an impressive six-in-one pan that claims to be so versatile it will replace all the pots and pans in your kitchen drawers. Copper Chef claims to provide a quick and even heating due to its steel induction plate. It also has Ceramitac non-stick surface that will allow you to cook without butter or oil, as well as being heat resistant up to 850 degrees. Copper Chef claims to work on all stove tops, such as gas, electric, ceramic, and induction. And it also has six cooking features, which allow you to bake, fry, boil, saute, steam, and braise all in one pan. Copper Chef can be purchased directly from the company's website at copperchef.com. And of course, as with any As Seen on TV product, they try to make this really appealing to you by breaking the price down into payments and then knocking one payment off. So currently, you can purchase a four-piece Copper Chef set for three payments of $24.99. Of course, there's always the easier route of buying this from Amazon for a total price of $74.99 with free shipping. What you can expect to receive as part of the four-piece set is the Copper Chef pan with a tempered glass lid, a fry basket, the steamer tray, the recipe book, as well as a four-piece utensil set. The pan itself is 9.5 inches in diameter and has pretty deep sides which does give it a little bit more versatility. It does have the steel handles on both sides which are oven safe as well as the glass lid which is also safe to use in the oven. The fry basket and the steamer tray required just very minimal assembly which wasn't too complicated for me to figure out and they fit pretty comfortably inside of the pan. Now, the four utensils that are included in this set could be fairly useful. However, they do feel very lightweight, kind of flimsy, and quite honestly, a little cheap. As for the recipe book, it does have some interesting dishes, which makes it a nice complimentary addition to the set. However, this recipe book, which really is a booklet because it's very thin, retails for $19.99 on the Copper Chef website, which to me just seems a bit too overpriced. Now, let's focus on the pan itself. Right off the bat, I'm going to admit that regardless of whether or not this pan lived up to all the claims that the company made, I truly really enjoyed using it and cooking with it. Now, contrary to what the name implies, this pan isn't actually made out of copper per se. Instead, it has a five layer construction that is mostly aluminum core, which is topped with a ceramic non-stick copper infused coating. Because of this coating, this pan is not fit to use with any metal utensils. Throughout my use, this pan scratched very easily with just minimal use of metal utensils. It really doesn't take a lot to scratch this if you're using any metal spatulas or forks or knives, so I would definitely recommend to steer completely clear of using anything that's metal. As I mentioned earlier, this pan does have a steel induction plate, which seems to do a really good job at heating the pan quickly and evenly. Within just seconds of putting this pan on the burner on medium setting, it felt very, very hot to touch. Of course, I had to test this pan out with some cooking experiments. So I started out with your basic scrambled egg or an omelet. I made sure to use no oil or butter. And as you can see, I was able to remove the egg from the pan very easily. It folded nicely. It didn't burn or stick and left a virtually clean pan. Next, I wanted to test out the steamer tray, so I decided to just steam up some basic vegetables. I poured a small amount of water into the pan and brought it to a boil. I then placed the steamer tray into the pan, which on second thought is probably smarter to place it in the pan before your water is boiling to avoid any injuries. But once the steamer tray was in place, I added some asparagus and baby carrots 
directly onto the tray, closed the lid, and in about 10 minutes, I had perfectly steamed vegetables. They were cooked just right and tasted really good. As you can see, the boiling water did leave some residue on the pan. However, it was extremely simple to clean up and the Copper Chef pretty much looked brand new after I washed it. For my next experiment, I decided to cook a couple of pieces of steak following the recipe provided in the recipe book. After searing the steaks on both sides, again using no butter or oil, I moved the Copper Chef into a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes or so. And when I took the pan out of the oven, the steak looked great. It slid right out of the pan freely without sticking or burning. And once again, the cleanup after this was very easy and quick. I literally only had to wipe it down with a sponge and rinse it with some water. Finally, making a pie sounded like a great idea that day, so I decided to attempt it with the Copper Chef pan. Here you can see me placing the pie crust on the bottom of the Copper Chef and lining the sides of the pan with the crust as well. I then filled it with a couple pounds of berries and attempted my first lattice top pie crust. I do have to say that because this pan is so much deeper than your average pie pan, it wasn't very comfortable to work inside the pan to line it with the dough and then do all the crust work because the sides of the pan come up so high and constantly get in the way. So while my pie turned out delicious and the Copper Chef definitely served its purpose, I would say that it's not the ideal pan for making a pie. I was however impressed with how easily I was able to separate the pie from the pan. Again, the pie didn't stick or really burn to the pan and keep in mind that I didn't grease the Copper Chef in any way before placing my dough into it. So needless to say, from all of my experiments, this Copper Chef pan performed very well and left me very impressed. It did make me wonder about the relatively high amount of displeased customers and negative reviews. Currently, Copper Chef has a 2.2 star rating with only 29% of the users willing to recommend this pan to a friend. While there were definitely customers that didn't like the pan itself, claiming that it didn't work as advertised and the food stuck to the pan after just a few uses, there was a larger amount of people that were unhappy with the company's poor customer service. A lot of people complained about slow shipping or the product being out of stock for weeks. A large amount of people also had difficulty returning the product and getting their money back. There was also a fair amount of people that were charged more than the advertised price. So while this pan seems to be a decent enough product that performs fairly well, the company's poor customer service seems to put a damper on the entire experience for customers trying this pan out. So the bottom line for me is that I would definitely avoid purchasing this pan from the website at copperchef.com or from the a scene on TV offer just to avoid any poor customer service, slow shipping, or any potential refund hassles. In my experience, ordering directly from Amazon was pretty painless, quick, and easy. As for the pan itself, in my experience, it seemed to pretty much deliver on the claims that the company makes. My only complaint has to do with the thin top coating that is really easy to scratch with just a gentle swipe of any metal utensil. Because this pan doesn't seem to be very durable, I can't really speak to how long it will continue to perform the way that it did for me. Also, from reading the instructions, there are some limitations when using this pan. For example, you can't use extra virgin olive oil or oil sprays when cooking with this pan. It is also not recommended that you use any steel, wool, or metal pads to clean this. Also, you should let the Copper Chef pan cool completely before washing it or cleaning it with water, as any sudden temperature changes can cause warping. Besides those points, Copper Chef seemed to be a very versatile pan that performed really well in my tests. However, does it make me want to get rid of all the other pots and pans in my kitchen drawers? It really doesn't. 
while it will probably do fairly well with the six different cooking methods, there will always be a need for other cookware that will be better suited for each individual dish. Having said that, while I'm not ready to throw out all the other pots and pans from my kitchen drawers, I'm not opposed to making some extra space for the Copper Chef. Thank you for watching my review of the Copper Chef pan. I hope you come back next time for more videos and reviews. And as always, be sure to subscribe to Haya on YouTube.